Hey my dudes, Jason here. All right, so your marks have just been released. The grade book, as terrifying as it may look, should now be visible to you guys. Something I do want to point out, however, before we sort of start getting confused about the marks. When I set up Canvas last term, it was the first time I'd ever used it, and I completely messed up setting up the, the weightings for the assignments. I wasn't fully sure how Canvas sort of did the marks inside of itself. So what I ended up having to do was I ended up having to make all of the submissions that you had done last term count for 0% of the term, and then I ended up recording the final marks because I did all of my marking separately. I recorded all of the final marks here, and the final marks is the mark that determines what your term mark is. Okay, so please don't get confused reading all of these other submissions. The only mark that you need to be looking at is the finals mark or the total. All right, that's what you got for the term. Now, to address some issues, because I know there are going to be questions. If I take a look at the final submissions instruction from last term, we read here, I tell you to read these instructions carefully. I tell you that you need to submit the following three files, double king analysis, check your spelling as a single PDF, ball bounce, rendered file only, ball and tail, rendered file only, and then to label your work correctly. Now, if you did not pass, if you got below 50%, chances are very good you did not follow these instructions. All right. So before you email me about queries with regards to your marks, please go and make sure that when you submitted your work, that you submitted a full PDF for the Double King analysis. And when I say the analysis, I mean the entire analysis. Some of you guys made the mistake of only doing one principle or like four of the 12 principles. I meant the entire thing. All right. And then the two rendered files. If you uploaded working files, that is if you uploaded After Effects files, those files were not marked because you did not follow the instructions. All right. You also did have access to the, um, well, you've got access to the internet. So if you got stuck in terms of rendering, you could have Googled that or you had access as well to um, Discord, which I set up for you guys specifically so that you could ask questions such as that. Okay. So to reiterate, if you did not pass before you come to me about your marks, I need you to confirm that you submitted a PDF and two rendered files to this submission. That's something else as well. For some reason, some of you guys thought that because you had submitted files to previous assignments that that was okay. I did make sure to explain that they all needed to be submitted to this final submissions file. So before you come to me with marks, check that um, all of that was correct and then you can talk to me about marks. All right. So those are the marks explained. Now, to talk to you about when um, resubmissions and things like that work. For our dates, on the 5th of May, Open Window faculty will be in touch with students with instructions on what to do for their resubmissions. You qualify for a resubmission if you scored between 40% and 49%. All right. If you do, if you scored below 40%, you unfortunately did not pass the term. That means you will need to redo either this term next year, or you will need to make up the credits by redoing one term of a first year subject next year. All right. So unfortunately, if you failed, that's that. All we can do now is put our heads down and move forward. For those of you who qualify for resubmission, scoring between 40% and 49%, I will be in touch via announcement on Classroom on the 5th of May addressing those of you who qualify for resubmission, telling you what it is that you need to do. I will also then be making an assignment uh, for you guys. I'll probably be doing it in the, um, in the second term, or rather in the second term's Canvas shell. So I'm not going to be making the assignment under term one. I'll make the assignment under the term two content, uh, term one resubmissions or something like that. So you can just watch out for an announcement that explains all of that. Um, by the 28th, uh, sorry, the 14th and the 21st of May, that is the week that you will have to do for your resubmissions. That is the 14th to the 21st of May. So the assignment will unlock on the 14th of May. On the 28th of May, I need to have finished my marking and I need to have provided uh, registrar with the resubmission forms. And then on the 31st of May, your resubmission marks will be released. Okay, so for those of you who qualify for resubmission, keep your ears to the ground. I'll be posting an announcement addressing you guys on the 5th of May and we'll take things from there. All right, my guys, I hope you're doing well. Have a great day further. Ciao.